Kia ora, I'm LV and today we are looking at the Schmincke Haze um, Super Granulating Set. Um, this one is exclusive to Jackson's. I'm pretty sure it was the same price as the other ones. This is the 5ml set. Um, and yeah, it's it's pretty pretty snazzy set. Um, it's quite it's quite opaque colours. They're very like greys and kind of dramatic colours. Um, these are the heavy swatches. We'll do some watery swatches down here. Um, so yeah, you saw how pretty it looks. Um, I haven't used this set much. Um, if you couldn't tell, we'll just start filling up the um, dish. This is just like a ceramic sauce dish I got from the op shop for a couple bucks. Um, I think it was. Oh, I dropped a chew. Um, yeah, it was just a couple bucks from the op shop, but the ceramic material means it's easy to clean, which is always handy. Um, do I need, do I want to get more? No. I was like looking at the painting. I was like, do I need more blue than that? But no. I haven't like properly used, oh that one's quite separated. I haven't like used this set in a while. I haven't used most of these sets in a while just because I, yeah, I haven't been home to use them. Um, it'll be very interesting to like use all the colours together in a painting. Um, once I've done this little series I'll put them into um, one palette together. Which will be really nice. I mean, I'll have all the granulating colours all at once, which will be cool. Got the green, the haze brown, and lastly the haze black. This is like an interesting set. I don't know. Haze is not like the first thing I think of when I think of like a. Um, set of watercolors it's like hmm haze set what would that be but it's quite a um nice range of colors it's at the pink or is it the blue pink. it's not really a pink it's more of like a gray but i'm assuming it will granulate quite pink yeah already seeing the granulating I'm back to using the round brush because the as much as I like the flat brush, it didn't hold as much water. Um, and for this kind of set review, I want it to hold a lot of water just so the granulation is like optimized. Um, so that's where I was at when I was making that decision. Oh no, what paintbrush to use? Um, and also this paper is not my favorite to use like I'm using it for all of them so it's consistent but it's it's all right like there's definitely a difference between the front and the back of the paper which is a little frustrating but it's one of the more affordable paper options um, where I live so it is what it is um, let's just say oh that's quite pretty Similar to the blue, but slightly different, which I guess is a common theme throughout all these sets um, with some of the colors. <laughs> Similar, but not the same. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, definitely with um, really washed swatches, you get to see the variety in the color much more and see the difference, um, which is really nice because as similar as they used to may look, you can the granulation will be different and it definitely is not the same when it's washed out as much as it is and then we've got the haze black and then we'll be into painting there we go hmm me wanting to figure out how to do the ocean it's quite 
soft in my reference photo. The model is such, like the person, well not the model, but my friend here is lovely. She was um, just standing there admiring the ocean and of course got to snap a picture of that. It's very dramatic. And then the ocean. Ignore that little buzz. My phone does that every time I try and record a video. It's just like I'm going to buzz really loudly so that the whole audience can hear. Maybe a bit more blue in it. Sand is quite like a, looks quite brown in this photo, but it's um, iron sand, which is really cool. Um, it's magnetic, which is so fancy, honestly. <laughs> um, very hot in summer, though. Um, very hard to stand on for a long period of time, especially after a long day of like heating up in the sun. Your feet burn. <laughs> But the um, haze brown is actually really close to um, the colour I'm wanting for the sand, so it's really handy. I was picking it, like, because when I pick out the photos, I was like, mm, it looks like it has some similar colours, but you never know until you do a painting if it's the right colours you wanted or not. I'm very lucky in this regard that it is the colours I wanted to use in this painting. Person. Now the problem is this doesn't really have any people colours, like colours you'd mix to create a person. So we're just gonna make it up a little bit, add in the shadow, <laughs> and hopefully get the idea across of a person and get some different differentiation different differentiation 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 I don't know I'm, I know what I'm trying to say but it's not coming out right and then the shorts are quite dark I feel like the set doesn't like go that dark without being like clunky it's like quite a soft pastel set um is what I kind of get from it I kind of want to leave a bit of the white of the paper to come through just because I feel like it will help a lot. Oh, well, we're going to have some of that colour in the ocean now. Good thing about watercolour is you can just blend it in <laughs> real easy. Not my favourite set. I feel like this is kind of a bit different though because it's um, Justin Jackson, so it's quite like a unique set in that regard. But colour wise, colours are pretty cool, but it's like, mm, I don't see myself using them in like a day to day painting. Like they're quite particular and you'd want to like know you're going to use it kind of thing similar to um the shire it's like if you don't use those kind of greens then why are you getting the set like if you don't use these kind of greens and pastel browns and grays then why are you getting the set kind of thing and here i am <laughs> making a great example of that maybe a bit more of the blue i feel like the br blue and the brown have the most like 
distinguishable colors from the other colors but yeah thanks for watching i've moved you up close so this is the painting um definitely abstract <laughs> but it's definitely harder with this set just because the colors are quite similar which is a shame you can see the swatches they're very similar gray muggy colors which is good because you know it's a haze set you'd want hazy colors um but hard if you want to just use this limited set and um get some unique kind of colors but i do like the colors are quite pretty it's just figuring out how to use them and use them effectively and if i'll use these colors over the other similar um less kind of pastel colors that i were available in the other sets um but yeah this is the second to last set review <laughs> the next one is the glacier so keep an eye out for that one that one will be out soon and thank you guys for watching